Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. This video is the answer to a very popular question. Let's go to work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to secure the cushion back to the actual chair once you have covered it. So here is my trick. This has worked for me and I'm happy to share it. Before I share this tip, let me tell you something about how you carry your chairs. I know you're gonna say this is a silly topic, but I see people do this all the time. And I also see these seat cushions flip up and then people are having trouble finding screws, etc., to secure the seat cushion back to the chair. So let me show you how to pick up a chair when you're moving it. It's just once you start removing seat cushions to reupholster them that you start having this problem and a lot of us we are now painting we are now stripping the chairs down and then we want to add a new seat cushion with new foam all that stuff but we still run into this problem so now this is how you add that seat cushion back and secure it in place this is my tip i take what an anchor i ordered these from amazon i ordered the entire little packet i think it was a little less than nine dollars you need these anchors you're gonna hang pictures heavy things around the house on the walls you definitely need anchors in place for that so i take an anchor that is comparable to the size of the screw and i also measure that anchor against the thickness of the seat cushion well, that tells me just how far that hole is inside of the seat cushion. Be careful about the new screws if you decide to go that route. You don't want to get one longer than the existing screw that came with the chair. If you do that, then it could easily puncture that board on the other side and you might feel a little stick through that foam. So be careful about that. That's why I say use a comparable anchor and measure it against the thickness of that board. And then once you insert it, tap it down gently, use your wire cutters and cut it off at the top. All right, once you do that, now place a nail inside of that little opening. Perfect. The next thing you want to do is place your chair on top of your seat now if you look here here's a shot where you can look right down in that hole and you can see that tiny little hole that you made with that nail in that anchor I want to caution you do not over tighten the screw I'm using the clamps here to secure the seat cushion to the chair so it won't move around at all once I drop that screw into the hole the tip of that screw is going to fall right in place with that opening that I made with that nail so guys you want to use a screwdriver or a drill and you don't want to over tighten you don't want to crack the wood at all the reason why I prefer this method is so I don't have to drill additional holes in the bottom of the chair. They could be fragile, guys. So I take one of the screws to the hardware store and I match it up as close as I possibly can in thickness and I still use the anchor. This goes in, you'll hear a little clicking. Yeah, nice and snug. Stop, pull that drill back. You don't want to overly exert the pressure on the chair most of these chairs have been around a while and the wood could be a little fragile with just too much pressure so be careful about that voila turn your chair back over and your seat cushion is firmly in place nice and snug and don't give up on a great chair you know really really don't because um, the holes may be a little bit wider, you may be able to get a larger screw, but if there are existing screws in the chairs and you're going to recover them, consider using anchors. Update, all the nail heads have been removed from the two chairs in the garage. That's it for me, guys. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.